time to head back out in search of some grouse today. Should be a good day, the temperature's not too bad. A little bit cool, but should be able to stay warm while trudging through the bush. But you can't guess where I'm going this morning. Oh, time to get my morning coffee. Just about there. Down the roads are pretty icy. My bald tires on my truck just kind of slipping all over the place. I haven't seen any deer on the fields yet. Hopefully there will be some out there today. We find this time of year usually they they're hiding pretty good, and you don't get too many opportunities. So I'm pretty happy that I filled my tag last week. Got one. Well, I just got to the top of the hill here, and uh, and one grouse flopped up and flew away, and the other one stayed sitting on the on the ground, and I managed to get a shot on it, and I got him. And there it lies after doing the flapping around for a little bit it's finally done for the, I'm gonna go chase after the second one now and see if I can't get it to flew down the hill maybe it stayed there after the shot I don't know I'm gonna go take a quick look got the first gross of the day down one flew sure looks like there's bucks rutting in here now lots of scrapes around today this one looks like it's been hit within the last little while, maybe last night. See the licking branch above the tops all licked clean. Anyways, these willows last time I was out here held a few grouse in them. So I'm hoping to find another one because I already got one in the bag. Anybody who's ever shot a grouse probably knows the easiest way to clean them up is to just step on the wings and pull the feet. So here we go. It's uh, stiffened up a little bit, so hopefully it still works. Guts are out, left with the breast. Just gotta pick a few feathers and a little bit more junk off of there and she's ready to put in the bag. Man, this bush is so thick. Can't get through it at all. But this is where the grouse seem to be hiding. They're not so close to the edges of the roads. And the, the walkways and field edges right now, they're all hiding deep in the bush. So this is where we are. Bushwhacking, trying to get something. As you can see, it's all tight little bushes right next to each other. This would be terrible to try and walk through in the early season. And there's leaves on everything, you wouldn't even be able to see a way through. But right now it's not too bad. Man, this stuff is thick. And if I do see a grouse, I hope it doesn't fly, because there's no way I'm going to get a good swing on my shotgun right now to get it. It's going to have to be stationary on the ground. Well, so far, we've got one grouse down. My buddy's father-in-law has been sitting in his little shack that he's got, like a little warmer blind made out of plywood. And uh, we've seen two deer while walking through the bush, mainly just tails. One of them I think was a buck, but of course it didn't run towards where our buddy's shack is. 
he ran the opposite direction. So, well, this is all that's left of what uh, the carcass and the hide that I left out here last week. Coyotes and birds definitely went to work. Just a couple pieces of hair left from the hide. And it looks like they dragged it off into the bush there. And this little spot here, maybe they were like pawing at the ground to get the leftover blood or something out of there. Coyote crap and stuff on the ground. They dragged it off that way. It looks like they went at it again. I can't believe there's no bones or anything left. It's crazy. Walking through these little willows here again. I thought I heard something make some noise and I stopped and I looked up and there he was. Right on. Hopefully I didn't mangle him too bad. Looks like lots of feathers on the other side. This is the one downside to hunting grouse with a 12 gauge. But you kind of hunt with whatever you got I guess. I only have the 12 gauge so I kind of use it as a double duty for ducks and geese and grouse. So hopefully we'll be able to salvage the meat. Tried to aim a little bit high, but it's tough when you're holding the camera in one hand too. Give him a look here. Oh yeah, it looks like he's... A little bit of damage to the meat, I think. That first one I got this morning was totally clean. Nothing but head. See if I can get a video of this. I don't know if I can pull both legs at the same time and do the same as normal, but I'm gonna give it a try. Oh. Oh, it half worked. Oh yeah, lots of pellets in the meat, it looks like. That's too bad. Oh, that makes too gross in the pack now. One of them is going to be delicious, the other one is going to lose a little bit of meat. Well, two grouse bagged. We're going to go see if we can get another one. Still got about a little, an hour, hour and a half, and three more left in my limit. So, see if we can't fill the limit. Pretty sure a lot of you will think I'm crazy, but uh, I don't think there's any kind of hunting that I like more than chasing these little rough grouse around in the bush. It just gets my heart pumping so crazy. I mean, deer, deer and elk and moose, they get me pretty excited, but you don't see as many as you do with with uh, grouse, and you don't have as many opportunities. Normally you have one tag and that's it. So you get to shoot one animal. But I mean, with a grouse, you can shoot five a day. As long as you're eating them fast, you can shoot five pretty much every day. I think the limit in Alberta for possession is three times the legal limit, the legal daily limit. So 15 rough grouse possession limit. But if you're eating them, you can go out and get more. It's pretty awesome. I got an hour left of legal light and I'm just walking this thin little cut line with the fence on the one side. It's thick brush on one side of me, thick brush on the other side of me. And I'm hoping to draw something out or maybe one will catch my ear or my eye like that last one I just shot. As you can see there's a lot of blowdowns and a lot of places for grouse to hide on both sides of this little walkway. It's been a pretty fun day. Walked through a lot of this bush. Only found two grouse and both of them were actually shot in semi-open areas. So it's kind of funny. My buddy. Managed to get my third grouse of the day. 
walking back actually on that same corner I shot two last week. So I'm gonna slowly walk back to the truck. I still have two more left for my limit for the day. And I'm gonna see if I can't fill my limit. But three is pretty good. Three's the best I've ever done. I've done three one more time before today. And uh, to get five would be pretty crazy out here. And a couple years ago, there was lots of grouse on this property. Every corner you go around, you bump up two or three of them. But this year, seems like there's a little less. So, uh, three is good enough, but I'm still gonna try for two more. I got about a half an hour left for light. So I'm gonna walk through one trail on the way back and maybe walk by where I saw, saw that first one this morning. See if I can't catch another one up on the same hill. Well, it's one minute after legal light. Just about back to my truck. I end up with three grouse for the day, which I think I got all three shots on camera. So you should get a see. Should have gotten to see all that earlier on in this video. It's been a good day. The weather wasn't near as cold as I thought it was gonna be. I've been sweating all day, because I guess when it's a little different when you're trudging through the bush all day as opposed to sitting in one spot waiting for a deer to come out. Anyways, that's pretty much a wrap for this day. Three good grouse. Hopefully this next last one that I got here uh, wasn't quite as beat up as the second one I shot. The first one I took was all head. Meat is beautiful. Second one, probably about six pellets went through the, the breast meat. And this one I haven't cleaned yet, so I don't know. I'm gonna take a couple pictures when I get back to the truck and then I'll clean it up and see how it looks. So my last grouse is all cleaned up. That's pretty much the end of today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed following me along. It was probably my funnest day hunting so far this season. I don't know if I'll be able to get out again before the end of the deer season, but I'll definitely have till January 15th to keep chasing grouse. So hopefully I'll get out again and be able to make another video. Uh, if not, I hope you guys enjoyed my 2018 hunting season, which wasn't all that eventful. I think I've got out five days so far. So I did have fun. I got, I ended up getting a nice little white-tailed deer, meats in the freezer. And this is number five, I think, for grouse now with the three I got today and the two I shot last time I was out. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did. <music>